A while back, I built up this T1 ref with a 280 custom loop, and I mentioned I was waiting on the Noctua A14 G2 fans. They're not officially here yet, but I think we can test out the round ones first. Welcome to Machines More. So recently we tested out the D15 G2, which absolutely solid big air cooler. One of the improvements there was the new NF a14 fans. Uh, the square version, of course, is still pending, the ones on the cooler are round, but I kind of let the question slip when I spoke with Nocto at Computex, right? Would these round ones work fine on a rad? If someone can't of... wait and they want to throw this on a rad with an adapter <laughs> plate, they, it, they it would could, work the same. They could try it. I yeah. Mean, I would really recommend using yeah, the square course. version. Um, you know someone's going to do it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's quite possible. I yeah. couldn't I couldn't promise what results you would see, honestly. But yeah. I would really suggest waiting for the square uh, version. Of course. But if you wanted to try it, I'm not going to stop. That's someone being me, I guess. But uh, other than not being able to mount the round version on a 140 millimeter fan hole pattern, I also noticed some differences at the edges of the frame where the square one has grooves on the intake side, like this NFA 12 by 25 and uh, there's also a bevel on the exhaust side of the square frame. So those are small optimizations, but you also have things like the rubber gasket for use on a radiator. I'm still curious though. Uh, we're still a few months out from the launch and I wanted to get an estimation of the performance. So here we are. So it's important to note, this is a preview of the fans as it pertains to radiator performance. So I really don't want to do any serious noise sampling or interval testing just yet until the square version is released. One difficulty of using this fan on a 280 is the round version has holes that line up to a 120 millimeter fans hole pattern. And while there are adapters that you can use for 120 millimeter fans to be used on 280s or 140s, those often, the, the most often have the outer portion blocked off because with a 120 millimeter fan, there's not gonna be airflow outside of that frame, right? Whereas here, if you blocked off the outer portion, you'd miss out on a significant portion of the airflow. But fortunately with this build, I've got my rad mounted up in a way where I could just use those longer fan rad screws to, to hold it in place. And I just used the rad panel to mock up the fans with one row of the 120 millimeter holes. I only have one row of screw holes possible due to how the rad is positioned though. But yeah, that being said, it absolutely works. And I got to test these guys out while trying out the Age of Mythology or AOM retold beta. Real quick on the game itself, if you're an RTS fan like I am, I think this is going to be a really enjoyable title, especially if you played the original or are an Age of Empires fan. Visuals are a little bit of a disappointment compared to AoE for what I've, from what I've seen so far. I'm not sure how much of that is still being fine-tuned, but I did find the gameplay very dynamic. The sibs are very much unique, and overall there's a great balance of fun, you know, skill building, and that learning curve. So. Very much looking forward to the launch in about a month and a half. On this system, which sports a 7600X and 3070 FE, I'm getting about 130, 140 FPS on 1440p with every setting maxed out. So you really don't need a top end system to enjoy this title. This system had the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 Pros, which are great fans. And for 1440p gaming in this scenario, the fans settle in at 1500 RPM and maintain a coolant temp of 44.7 degrees. Total load here is roughly 265 watts. The Corsair 280 here isn't a thick rad. It's a rebadged hardware labs unit that isn't overly restrictive, but we're fairly close just because of how narrow this case is. Uh, we're really close to the motherboard and the power supply with some obstruction from the 24 pin cable. It's a very narrow, uh, small form factor case, sub 10 liters. So things are very tight. So there's a moderate amount of restriction for the fans to overcome. With the round A14 G2s, the equivalent noise level came in at 1250 RPM. But it's worth noting that with this particular side panel setup, I noticed an increase in noise uh, from being close to the fan blades. At least on this round version, the fan blades are spaced very, very close to the outer face of the frame. So one of those differences I mentioned between this and the square version is that these don't have a transition boundary on the frame. It's more of a hard square edge versus what you'll see on the square version. So when I do test the square one out, I anticipate it'll be different with regard to the noise. In other words, I think the noise equivalent RPM on the square version will be higher than the level here. 
Again, just a casual look at the rad capabilities with a fan that's really not meant for this purpose, so I'm just presenting them as is. They do perform quite well. The coolant temp dropped about a degree still, and testing at max on these fans, roughly 1475 RPM, I saw an even larger improvement for the temps, which is promising if the noise characteristics are better on the square version. So I do fully expect the square version to be great. These round ones aren't cheap though. Uh, expect the square ones to come in at a similar level. The Silent Wings 4 Pro, still excellent fan, especially for the price. And we'll get an idea what the actual performance gap is when the A14x25 G2 square version launches. So Nocto was saying September this year, so that's perfect timing to give them a run on the release version of AOM Retold. I think I'll keep these on here for now, but definitely, you know, if you if you want to mount them on a rad, uh, wait for the square version. I'll leave some component links down below. If you enjoy this type of content, please also make sure you're subscribed and give a thumbs up. Big thanks for watching today.